Uh, hey, Ann, did you hear that whistle? Sure do, Amos. That whistle means Rinso White, Rinso Bright, and Rinso New. Yeah, that's right, and that means that this is Sunday, and we is on the air for 1950 Rinso with Solium. Show with Ernest C. Wade, Lou Lubin, Johnny Lee, Harry Lang, Jeff Alexander, and his orchestra, and radio's all time favorites, Amos and Andy, brought to you by Lieber Brothers Company, makers of new 1950 Rinso with Solium, the soap that gets your clothes whiter and brighter than new. Rinso white, Rinso white, Rinso new. Unknown to his wife, Sapphire, a secretary is coming into the life of George Kingfish Stevens. At the lodge meeting last night, the brothers decided that the Kingfish needed a secretary to keep the record straight. At the moment, he's discussing the situation with Andy. Yes, Andy, uh, we does need a secretary around here. The lodge records are all in pretty bad shape. We was getting way behind in everything. Yeah, really bad, huh, Kingfish? Oh, yeah. I'll just take the sickness committee. Only last week to send out a get well card to a brother that died in 1924. <laughs> yeah, well, a uh, situation like that can be a mess, all right. Oh, yeah, and I read him a nasty letter about his back dues last month and wondered why he never answered me. <laughs> well, listen, about this secretary, Kingsbridge, you say the employment agency going to send a gal over here for you to interview? Yes, and, and remember the requirements now. The gal got to be neat, uh, speed typers, able to take dictation, and the knowledge of bookkeeping and cross files and all that stuff. Yeah, I was just looking around here. Wouldn't hurt if she was handy with a mop, neither. <laughs> now, look here, Anna. I want you to help me question this gal when you come here and we'll uh, uh, make her pass what we call the IQ examination and every other kind of thing, you see. Yeah, yeah. Uh, uh, what is it, Lightning? What uh, you want? Some gal is out there about being interviewed as a secretary. Yeah, well, send me in. I asked how wheels right out and get her. <laughs> you let her know that she's dealing with businessmen. Uh, yeah, come right in. Come in. Oh, uh, how do you do? My name is Charmaine LaRue. Is you the gentleman that's looking for the secretary? Uh, yes, miss. We is looking for a gal that's neat, uh, efficient, and, uh, uh, hello. <laughs> uh, excuse me for protruding, miss, but, uh... <laughs> You were applying for the job of secretary, ain't you? Uh, yes, yes, but I don't know if you gentlemen would be interested because, uh, well, I thought maybe I was too young. Yeah, well, that is the trouble. We is looking for, uh, uh, ha, ha, ha. You is higher. Uh, not so fast there, lover boy. Now, I do in the hiring round here. Now, Miss, uh, have you had much experience? Oh, yes, yes. I've done secretarial work before, but I expect to pick up a lot more experience here. Sign her up, Kingfish. <laughs> uh, take it easy, Andrew. What we need around here is a gal that's efficient. Now, Miss, how many words can you take in shorthand? In what? <laughs> shorthand. Oh, yes, you mean them little doodad things. Uh, well, what we want to know is how many words can you do dab in a minute? That's what we want to know. Well, a four or five if they don't have a lot of syllables. Uh, well, that's plenty fast. When can you start? Uh, <laughs> wait a minute, sir. Now, uh, the average secretary can take 120 words a minute. Yeah, I know, Kingfish, but between the two of us, we don't know 120 words. <laughs> yeah, you might have a point there, Andy. Ain't no use having a 12 still in the car if you ain't going no place. <laughs> well, uh, you can reconsider yourself high, miss. Oh, thank you. Uh, what time shall I report tomorrow? Well, I'm glad you asked that. We want to get off to a good, fast start tomorrow. Get up bright and early, and I'll meet you here at the office. Ready to start the work at 2 p.m. sharp. <laughs> well, I'll see you tomorrow. Toodaloo. Yeah, and toodaloo to you, too, Miss LaRue. <laughs> well, go on, miss. Well, then, uh, I think she's going to work out fine. Yeah, she's cute, all right, Kingfish. But, of course, you know you got to face it. She's a little on the dumb side. Yeah, well, that's good, Andy. After all, we don't want to have no secretaries around here that's smarter than us executives, you know. <laughs> yes, Andy, the 
secretary started this morning, and everything is working out fine, boy. Yeah, I see you done put another desk in your office here for her. Yes, that gives her a place to work right here in the office, you see. Where is she now? Well, she's in the next room working on the files. Uh, let me get my feet up here. Oh, boy. This is the life. Guy Stevens, where are you at? Uh-oh, discreet, y'all. <laughs> I done spoke too soon. Here come my wife down the hall. Uh, hello there, Sapphire, dear. George, I'm going shopping, and I need... Oh, I see you got your loafing partner here. Hello, Sapphire. George, I'm going shopping, and I need some money. Well, now, wait a minute, Sapphire. Uh, excuse me, I better be running along and get out of the line of fire here. <laughs> <laughs> Look, George, I'm going shopping, and I need some... George, you got another desk in the office. Another desk? Uh, yeah, that's right, ain't it, honey? We just got one in here. Yeah. Oh, what's the idea of that? One for each foot? Uh, oh, no, honey, I, uh, uh well, uh, we just figured uh, that we needed another desk in here, you know. Uh. George? George, I smell perfume in here. Uh, perfume uh, in here? Yes, and it ain't that cheap stuff you bring home to me, neither. <laughs> yeah, I guess Andy's been using that carbon on his hair again. Uh. <laughs> going on here. I smell perfume. And another thing, why have you got another desk in your office? Well, we just stuck it there to put it someplace. Uh, well, Safa, uh, how can you accuse me? Uh, you you think that some other woman's been around here? You is the most suspicious wife. Here I work alone at the office by myself. And... Uh, Mr. Stevens, may I sit down at my desk now? Uh... <laughs> I didn't know your mama was here. <laughs> your mama? George Stevens, who is that young person? Now, well, now, put down that inkwell. I can stand the whole thing. You see, darling, well, uh, 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 she is my, my, my secretary. Your secretary? You ain't told me nothing about this. Well, I... Uh... George, I ain't gonna stand for no girl that calls me your mama working in this office. You got to get rid of her. Well, well now, wait a minute here. This is ridiculous here. I have always been a conscientious husband. I ain't gonna fire that gal. You're just like all men, George Stevens. A woman don't come between us. What do I do? I know what I'll do. I'm gonna stand for my mother. <laughs> well, now listen, honey. Don't get that old war horse to come to town. I, 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 I will so, and don't think for a minute that you're gonna get away with it. You no good sneaking two times low down bomb. <laughs> No, I think Sapphire was upset. <laughs> she gonna send for her mama. Together, them two make the nastiest team since Hitler and Mussolini. I... <laughs> Come on, Henry, walk with me up to the house here. Yes, all right, Kingfish, I'll do that. You know, Sapphire really hit the ceiling about this new secretary of mine. She's really jealous. Oh, so the green-eyed monster has reared his ugly head, eh? Yeah, oh, how'd you know her mama was in town? <laughs> <laughs> you see, Henry, this gal don't mean nothing to me, but for once in my life, I'm going to stand my ground. Mm -hmm. Oh, I'm tired of having my wife push me around. And you say you ain't been home. Uh, you've been sleeping in the lodge hall for the last two days? Yeah, well, that's uh, the usual cooling off period I give them, man. Uh... <laughs> Uh, uh, Henry, the, the battle order to quiet down by now, though. Yes. Well, have you got any plans, Kingfish? Uh, yeah, Henry, this time I might try a different treatment on my mother-in-law. I'm going to smother the old war horse with kindness. <laughs> well, Kingfish, if you take my advice, I would skip the kindness and concentrate on the smother. <laughs> uh, well, now, here's my house here. I'll see you when I get in. Well... So long, Henry. Yes, so long, Kingfish. I'll see you later. Well, here I go. Might as well get in and see what happens. Talk about a snake pit. I really got one in here. <laughs> well, well, well. Hello there, Mother. I, I must say you was looking the same as usual. Don't you insult me like that, George Stevens. Yeah, uh, excuse me. I, I, I didn't mean no harm. Uh, by the way, Mother dear, them is beautiful roses on the table there. Did you bring them? I wouldn't bring you nothing. Sapphire's new boss sent her them flowers. Hey, well, that's nice. It kind of frightens up the Sapphire's new boss. You heard me. Sapphire's got a job with Mr. John Bentley as his secretary. He's a very handsome bachelor. 
And he sent her them flowers? Well, she, she, she ain't got no right to work as a secretary for no man to send her flowers. Well, you've got a secretary. Now, how do we know you ain't sending that little hussy flowers? Well, now, that's different. Different nothing. And get your own supper, too. Stop I was working late tonight with Mr. Bentley. I bet this whole thing was your idea. You done put her up to this. Why has you got to stick your big face and everything? Don't you yell at me. Sapphire's my daughter, and I'm going to see that you two have a happy marriage if I have to break every bone in your body. Well, now you wait a minute. Oh, shut up. <laughs> Sapphire's entitled to a career if she wants it. Well, if Sapphire wants a career, why don't she get a job in the laundry? You're going to be in a room with something a mangle is a lot safer than this fella Bentley, I tell you that. Has a little boat stays found For a wash that's whiter and brighter than you Rinse all washes, rinse all new Rinse all white Whiter than you Rinse all white Brighter than you Rinse all white Rinse all white Rinso New. Rinso New. It's an amazing fact. 1950 Rinso with sodium gets white clothes whiter, washable colors brighter than new. Rinso New. Even on rainy days, Rinso puts sunshine in your wash. No other soap can make your wash so white, so bright, because no other soap contains the scientific sunlight ingredient, sodium. 1950 Rinso gets out more dirt. Yes, gets out more dirt than any other type of wash day product. And yet Rinso is so safe for clothes. So kind to your hands. Get Rinso today. See your wash become whiter, brighter than you. Rinso white, Rinso bright, Rinso new. Yeah, then I really worry about stuff I working for this Bentley fellow. Yeah, well, you got something to worry about there, things. Yeah, besides the flowers yesterday, he done sent her a big box of candy. Oh, boy, that's bad. Oh, the shame of it. Another fellow sending my wife candy. I nearly choked on the first half a pound of it. <laughs> well, I surprised with you, Kingsley. Yeah, the third the thing I still can't understand is why this fellow Bentley would go for a girl like Sapphire. On the other hand, I guess when Sapphire's all made up, she ain't a bad-looking girl. Like... Yeah, yeah, that's right. I had seen her on Lenox Avenue a couple times and whistled at her before I knew uh, who she was, you know? <laughs> Of course, when she turned around and I see her face, why, I unfuck it quick. <laughs> I'd sure like to get a line on this Bentley fella. Well, did you find out anything about him yet? Well, I found out that he is the manager of this branch bank over here on Lennox. I don't want to go snooping around there or stuff. I'll think that I was jealous. Oh, I was miserable, then. Now, what you want down here, Shorty? Well, it ain't my, 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 it ain't the good name, the kid, I, 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 what's wrong, Southport? Cody, I got way trouble. Yeah, the Kingfish's wife done took a job as a secretary, and he's afraid she's going to get mixed up with another man. Mm. Oh, that other man stuff is bad. Yeah, I, 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 was, I was going with a girl once, and... Suddenly, she, she started seeing another fella every night. Oh, she did, huh? Yeah, but I, I was crazy about her, and I, 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 I didn't want to give her up, so, so I, 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 I used the romantic approach. Well, one night when this fella was calling on her, I, I stood outside the parlor window, and I sang that romantic love song. Kiss me again, kiss me again. Yeah, well, uh, how did it work out, Shorty? Not so good. Uh, what I was singing on the outside, they were doing on the inside. <laughs> Hey, Shorty, you meet a lot of men in your barbershop. Does you happen to know John Bentley, the manager of the branch bank up here on London? John Bentley. Oh, so I know him. He lives in that big uh, uh, apartment up here on 134th Street. Yeah, he does. Say, uh, maybe me and Andy could go up there tonight and tell him that we as uh, newspaper men that want to interview him. Yeah, that's a good idea, kid. Yeah, we can uh, sound him out about his new romance and find out just uh, what's going on between him and Sapphire. Yeah, and if, if you find out this fellow's making trouble for you, Kingsley, don't worry, because someday you'll get your revenge. I'm t- I know, because when this fellow I was telling you about stole my gal, I always figured that, that, that someday he'd come into my barber shop and then I'd, I'd have him just where I wanted him. Yeah, well. <laughs> uh, but did, did it ever happen, Shorty? Oh, yeah, sure. Now, one day he come in and 
sat down right in the chair. Holy smoke, Shorty. What did you do to the poor fella? Yeah. What did I do? Well, I took the scissors and I slit. I cut it. Uh, when I was shaving him, I took the way I, 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 I slit. I cut it. Uh, I twisted a scolding towel around his neck. I, I pulled it. I, 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 I overcharged him 15 cents. <laughs> about this idea of yours. Have me tell George I was working as secretary for John Bentley. Well, Sapphire, it was the only thing to do. Well, if I really had a job, it would be different, but oh, I sort of hate to lie to him. Listen, Sapphire, let's face it. If us women didn't lie to men, half of us would be single. <laughs> well, I know, Mama, but does you think it's worth me sending myself all them flowers and candy and stuff? Yes, Sapphire. We really got to make that old goat suffer. But Mama's telling him I'm working for John Bentley. After all, you know, he's manager of the branch bank on Lennox. And besides, there was a big piece in the paper today about him being engaged to his own secretary. I know he's engaged to his secretary. I saw that item in the paper, too. That's what gave me the idea. Well, frankly, Mama, the way George has been acting lately, I think your plan is going to work. <laughs> Well, Andy, here's the house where it's full of Bentley live now. Yeah, well, let's go out. Uh-oh, we're trapped. Look who's coming down the street, that happy Willie guy. Yeah, what a time to run into him. Yeah. There's more wind in that boy than in a Florida hurricane. <laughs> <laughs> well, well, Kingfish, what are you doing out at this time of the night? <laughs> they run behind the pool hall again? <laughs> Look, Willie, I ain't in no mood for no kidding. I have wife trouble. Yeah, I see your wife, and I agree with you. <laughs> now, now, wait a minute. Listen here. I ain't talking about her personal. No, Sapphire done got a job with a fellow named John Bentley, and the kingfish is all upset, Willie. Yeah, and the question that's bothering me is, is this man making passes at her? <laughs> There's a mom for one question or that. Is your wife ducking? <laughs> Boy, show warmed up there around here, didn't he? Hey, yeah, one of these days they're gonna drop a net over him. Now let's get on in the Bentley's house here. Remember now, we as reporters from the newspaper come to interview him. Yeah, then we'll work the thing around and ask him about his romances and that stuff. Yeah, let's get on in here. I hope he's home. <laughs> John Bentley speaking. Oh, it's you, dear. How's my sweet little secretary tonight? What? Certainly I think we're right in the loping, honey. Your father will just have to get used to the idea of our marriage, even if he's against it now. Uh, excuse me a second, honey, it's the door. Uh, excuse us, Miss Bentley, we are from the newspaper, and we'd like to see you about an interview. An uh, interview? Well, uh, have a seat. I'm on the phone in the next room talking to my secretary. Be with you in a minute. Oh, yeah, sir. Yeah. Uh, holy mackerel, Andy. He said secretary. He's on the phone right now with my wife. Yeah, that's right. Let's get over here by the door and eavesdrop on him. Yeah. <laughs> Sorry, honey. Just a couple of minutes at door. Do you miss me? Yeah, that's sweet. I feel the same way. I'd love to hold you in my arms. Hannah, did you hear that? They're going to hold each other in their arms. Yeah, but... Take it easy, Kingfish. They can't do it now. There's too much telephone wire between them. I'm glad you got a chance to call, honey. What? Oh, the old man's out, huh? Good. Old man, and they're talking about me. <laughs> yes, I think we should definitely go through with the elopement. Elopement? Here, here, Kingfish, lay down on the couch here. Oh, no, no, this is terrible, Andy. Of course he'll be upset, but after it's all over, I know he'll agree it's all for the best. I will not. <laughs> Honey, I'm really crazy about you. You're so sweet. You're so gentle. You're so lovely. You're, you're just like Venus. Kingfish, that fellow ought to get his eyes examined. <laughs> Come on, Andy, I can't stand no more of this much talk. How weak as a kitten. I feel just like Samson after the lolly give him a crew haircut. <laughs> Let's get out of here. Yeah, come on, I'll help you. Uh, Hannah, does you realize that that man was talking about my wife and he going to elope with her? What must I do, Andy? What must I do? Well, don't feel too bad about it, Kingfish. In the case of Sapphire, the way I figure, 
What is one man's loss is another man's loss. Yeah. It's a proven fact. New 1950 Rinso with Solian gets white clothes whiter than new and washable colors brighter than new. Rinso new. No other soap can get your wash so white, so bright, because no other soap contains the scientific sunlight ingredient solium. Even on rainy days, even if you dry your clothes indoors, Rinso with Solium puts sunshine in your wash. Your white clothes will actually turn out whiter than you, and gay washable colors brighter than the day you bought them. Rinso gets out more dirt than any other type of wash day product. And yet Rinso is so safe for clothes and so kind to your hands. On wash day, use new 1950 Rinso with Solium, the scientific sunlight ingredient. Your dealer has it in the same familiar package. Get Rinso today. Well, Andy, uh, here's 5% Calhoun's office right here. Yeah, you going in there and see him about your troubles, huh? Yeah, I figure uh, a big politician like that has got uh, experience in all kinds of stuff. You see, maybe he can give me some advice. Yeah, well, I'll see you later, Kingfish. Good luck to you. Yeah, uh, so long, Andy. Well, I'll get on in the office, yeah. Uh, uh, hello there, Miss Calhoun. Remember me? Well, your face is strange, but that stupid expression looks familiar. <laughs> uh, I, George Kingsley Stevens. Don't mean nothing to me. I was up here last week. Don't mean a thing. I got ten dollars in my pocket. Sit down, pal. <laughs> Let me your pocket knife and I'll spit my cigar with you. Yeah, well, now, here what done happen, Miss Five Percent. Uh, I hired a secretary and... And then my wife started the secretary for Miss John Bentley. Then my, my wife's mama come to town and... Hold it, hold it, hold it. Yeah, well, uh, is it clear to you up to, the, up to now? Yeah, all but one thing. How much did you pay this John Bentley to be your secretary? Well, I ain't paying John Bentley nothing. Uh, oh, then you was in trouble with the labor board. Oh, no, look, uh, you don't understand what I was explaining here. I understand the explanation, but... You ain't explaining to understand this. <laughs> well, now, uh, uh, look at here. Uh... Listen, son. And the next time you explain it, uh, sip some ignorance out of it. Sip some ignorance out? Just, just, just undumb yourself, son. Undumb yourself. Look, uh, the nutshell of the thing is, my wife is interested in another man. Oh, and you is jealous. Naturally, she has made up her mind to leave me for this fella she's secretary to. And I want to change her mind. And she's a woman? Certainly. And you want to get her to change her mind? Right. That's going to take a long time. <laughs> Look here, Miss Calhoun. Can't you give me no suggestion? Yeah. I got an angle. Oh, why don't you get this fella fired that she's working for? And then he won't have no income, and that'll break up the whole thing. Hey, that's great advice, Miss Calhoun, boy. How can I ever thank you? Well, Stephen, there's a right way to thank me, and there's a wrong way to thank me. Yeah, I know there, so I won't insult you by offering you money. I'll just shake your hand. <laughs> that's the wrong way. <laughs> Here's the office of one of the bank's vice presidents here. Yeah, he's in charge of the employees at all the branches. Yeah, well, let's get on in there. Yeah, now, don't forget, we as detectives and done investigated this John Bentley, and we want to get him fired. Yeah, and I got this hunk of rubber hose sticking out of my pocket here, too. That'll show him we're real police. Yeah, come on. <laughs> Yes, can I help you? Uh, yes, sir. We are from the police department. I am Detective Stevens, and this is my fellow Gumshoe uh, Andy Brown. Yes, sir. We're from the bank snatching detail. Uh, <laughs> well, uh, just what can I do for you? Well, uh, what we can do for you, mister. We want to talk to you about the manager of one of your branch banks, uh, John Bentley, alias Sticky Finger Jackson, alias Captain Till Taylor. <laughs> now, just a minute. Are you intimating that John Bentley is dishonest? Just what do you base this charge on? Well, the whole thing started when Brown here went into the bank on a routine checkup. It was during lunch hour, Mr. Bentley let the pen fell out, and he was in the cage himself. Yeah, that's right, that's right. Uh, Brown here uh, went up to the window and asked him to change for a dollar. We got suspicious when he had to run across the street to a candy store to get it. <laughs> and there was nothing in the cash drawer there but rubber bands. Why, this is fantastic. I, I just can't believe it. Yeah, well, you know how it is when them fellas... Uh... 
start playing with the races, you know. You're not implying that John Bentley is using bank funds to gamble. Well, we've done a little checking around, and we found out that most of his intimate friends are jockeys. That's what we've done found out. Jockeys? That's right. right. When we dropped in the bank yesterday and looked at the paying line, there was nobody more than five feet tall in the line there. And three of them had whips, too. Do you mean to say that you believe he's actually using the bank's money at the track? Well, I'll tell you this much. Your shady lady don't come in on the 5th tomorrow. The bank's going to have to declare more to him. i tell you that. Now, just a minute. This has gone far enough. If you're a policeman, I'd like to see your credentials. Uh, well, then, uh, show the man my credentials. Uh, who, me? Hey, uh, you know my credentials. Well, 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 well what do they look like? Ah, just as I thought. This is the most ridiculous story I ever heard. I don't know what your purpose is, but if you don't get out this minute, I'll really have the police around here. All right, Mr. Week going. But if you find your escrow department tied up in a three horse parlay, don't blame us. Well, what are you going to do now, King? Please? Well, there's only one thing to do, Anna. I'm going right now and leave my cards on the table with Sapphire. Yeah, I agree with you. That's your only alternative. Yeah, yeah Amos, the kingfish here done finally solve this problem. Yeah, well, I'm glad to hear that, kingfish. Uh, how did you go about it? Well, I knew that the reason this whole thing started was on account of me hiring a secretary. So I made a deal with Sapphire. If she'd give up her job and... Never go near Bentley again, I'd let my secretary go. Yeah, well, that sounds like it's fair for both sides, but the, the large day, you still got to have a secretary. Now, what are you going to do about that? Well, I saw that too, boys. You see, Sapphire said there was something about the way that uh, Miss LaRue acted that she didn't like. So there's no more trouble. I told Sapphire to call up the informant agency herself and have them send over any secretary she wants. Yeah, well, that was real smart. Basically. Oh, yeah, boy. Sapphire said my secretary coming prepared to take dictation. From now on, I got no more trouble. Uh, everything going to be peace and quiet around here. Uh-oh. There's the secretary now. They said that she was sending her right over here. Uh, come in. All right, you old goat. Start dictating. Oh, no. <laughs> Half the people in the world is women. Uh, yeah, well, that's a good arrangement. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> and more women use rinse soap than any other white tea soap in the world. That's a fact. And in all the world, no other soap contains solium, the amazing scientific sunlight ingredient. Rinse soap solium gives you washes that are whiter, brighter than new. Yes, rinse so new. Rinse soap gets out more dirt than any other type of wash day product. Get the economical giant size rinse soap today. <laughs> Show the next Sunday at the same time when Lieber Brothers Company, the makers of Mule Rinso, will solely again present the Amos and Andy Show. Lifebuoy Get Skin Cleaner gives you longer all over protection after your daily bath. Remember, there's not just one or two, but 13 areas of the skin where doctors have found BO. Lifebuoy protects you all over, gives you top 24 hours security. Get Life Boy right away. Be sure to listen to the Amos and Andy Show at the same time next Sunday. This is CBS, the Columbia Broadcasting System.